Gospel and homily for the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Great crowds accompanied Jesus on his way, and he turned and he spoke to them. If any man comes to me without hating his father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, yes, in his own life too, he cannot be my disciple. Anyone who does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. And indeed, which of you here intending to build a tower would not first sit down and work out the cost to see if he had enough to complete it? Otherwise, if he laid the foundation and then found himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers would all start making fun of him and saying, here is a man who started to build and he was unable to finish. Or again, what king marching to war against another king would not first sit down and consider whether with 10,000 men he could stand up to the other who advanced against him with 20,000? If not, then while the other king was still a long way off, he would send envoys to sue for peace. So in the same way, none of you can be my disciple unless you give up all his possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. Little Jenny was misbehaving and really giving her mother a hard time. Her mother told her to go and sit in the corner and wait until her father got home. She went over and stood in the corner and refused to sit. After another hassle, the mother literally forced the child to sit down. But when the father came in, he asked what was she doing sitting in the corner. She said, well, on the outside, I'm sitting down, but inside, I'm still standing. It's the same with us. On the outside, we could appear Catholic, but on the inside, it may be a different story. Last Sunday, if you remember, Jesus told us to take the lowest place the Sunday before, he told us to enter by the narrow door, and today he's asking us to put him first in our lives, even before family and friends. All rather extreme positions, you would say. Family accord, of course, is important, but it will be rather superficial if not built on a shared family faith. Like the man building the tower, Jesus asked us to sit down and work out what it would cost to follow him more radically. In our everyday lives, we often say, forking out that bit extra on a thing of quality often proves to be more sensible decision than going for the cheaper option. In the long run, it's worth spending that extra few quid. Now, we sh should, we should or could apply the same philosophy to our relationship with God. A more ardent following of Jesus will mean that we'll be strong enough to see things through. There will be no half-built towers. When contemplating Christian marriage, for instance, have we got what it takes to take on board the highs and lows, the ups and downs of the married vocation? Or are we entering it sort of blindfolded? If we opt for ordination to the priesthood or the religious profession, have we got the wherewithal to stick to our guns? God doesn't want us to make hasty, life-changing decisions which we haven't proper, properly thought out. Like the man who half-built the tower, we may have started off well, but flagged when the going got tough. When the, to the going gets tough, they say, the tough get going. But that's hardly putting the Lord first in our lives. Like I said to someone recently, it's not how you start off in life, but how you finish, which is the important thing. The onlookers started making fun of the man who left the tower half built. 
This could be one of the reasons why Father Ted was so popular. It portrayed Catholicism as a joke which no one, not even the clergy, were taking seriously. The devil must have been jumping for joy. Or we might have taken it seriously at first, but then had second thoughts when people poked fun at our Catholic faith, or peer pressure swayed us, or the school bullies got to us. That's hardly giving the Lord pride of place in our lives. Jesus says, He who is not with me is against me. And that means with him in everything, with no exceptions. Loyalty to our Catholic faith should inform everything we do and say. It will be well worth the effort when we reach the end of life's journey. Our tower, then, will have been fully built. Thank you all very much for listening, and God bless you all.